Let's see now how to solve this first parity case for the 4x4 Rubik's Cube. In this case, we have on the last layer of the cube two corners to fix. They are the last two, as you can see, and this is a parity case. Let's analyze this as a first case. To solve this, you have to keep the cube in this position so that one corner is in front of us, like this, while the other one is in the back side of the cube. Keeping the cube in this position, you have to do this move sequence. So, two rotations of the upper side of the cube, two layers, like this. Two rotations with the left side of the cube, always two layers, one and two, like this. Upper side of the cube, two rotations, only one layer this time. Then you have to make two rotations of this layer of the cube, so one and two. Now, two rotations of the upper side of the cube, only one layer. Two rotations of the left side of the cube, two layers. Two rotations of the upper side, two layers. Right side, clockwise, only one layer. Upper side, one rotation, clockwise, only one layer. Left side, clockwise, one rotation, only one layer. Upper side, two rotations, only one layer. Right side, counterclockwise, upper side, one rotation clockwise, right side, one rotation clockwise, left side, one rotation counterclockwise, upper side, one rotation counterclockwise, one layer, left side, one rotation clockwise, upper side, two rotations, only one side, right side, one rotation counterclockwise, upper side, one rotation clockwise, left side, one rotation counterclockwise, upper side, one rotation clockwise, one layer. And this is the first parity case solved. Let's see now this second parity case. In this case we have two corners facing us to fix and they are the last two corners to fix. This is another parity case. To solve this parity case you have to keep the cube with the two corners that faces you. You have to make this move sequence. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, two layers, like this. Two rotations of the left side of the cube, two layers. Two rotations of the upper side, one layer. Two rotations of this layer of the cube, pay attention to what I'm doing now. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, only one layer. Two rotation of the left side of the cube, two layers. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, two layers. The front side of the cube has to turn uh, counterclockwise, one rotation. Upper side of the cube, counterclockwise, one rotation. Front part of the cube, one rotation, clockwise direction. Upper side, one rotation, clockwise direction. Front side of the cube, one rotation, clockwise direction. Right side of the cube, one rotation, counterclockwise. 
true rotation of the front side of the cube, one rotation of the upper side of the cube clockwise direction, front side of the cube one rotation clockwise direction, one rotation clockwise of the upper side of the cube, one rotation of the front side of the cube counterclockwise, one rotation on the upper side of the cube counterclockwise, one rotation on the front side of the cube clockwise direction, one rotation clockwise direction of the right side of the cube. And now this parity case is solved. In this case we have two edges to invert each other and the edges are 180 degrees each other one is facing us, the other one is on the back side of the cube. This is another parity case for the cube. So you have to keep the cube in this position and do this move sequence. Two rotations of this layer of the cube. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, one and two. Two rotations again of the first move we did, two rotation of the upper side of the cube, two layers, two rotation of this layer of the cube, one and two, two rotation of the upper side of the cube, two layers, and two rotation of the upper side of the cube, only one layer. And this is case is solved. In this parity case, we have only one edge to fix, while the other, uh, the, the rest of the cube is okay. To solve this situation, you have to keep the, the, the edge you have to fix in this, in this position. You have to do this move sequence to fix it. Two rotation of the right side of the cube, two layers. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, one layer. One rotation in counterclockwise, two layers. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, only one layer. One rotation of this side of the cube, clockwise direction. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, only one layer. One rotation clockwise direction of the right side of the cube, two layers. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, only one layer. One rotation of the back side of the cube, like this. One rotation of this layer of the cube. One rotation of the back side of the cube, like this. Two rotations of the upper side of the cube, only one layer. One rotation of the back side of the cube, like this. One rotation counterclockwise of this layer of the cube. One rotation counterclockwise of the back side of the cube, like this. And two rotations of the right side of the cube, and so. This situation is solved.